Want to find out an ancient beauty technique that I use every single night to keep my skin glowing and healthy? Keep on watching. Hi guys, I'm Nicole Harlow and you're watching Girl Meets Body, where I'm introducing you to your body one episode at a time. If you haven't already subscribed, click that big red button down below because I don't want you to miss anything. Now, usually on this channel, I'm talking about sex and periods and hormones, but I've decided to record a bunch of beauty videos as well, all about natural beauty and natural makeup, clean and green. Now, the reason for this is because I see a lot of women who come into my hormone clinic who are suffering with irregular periods, infertility, hormonal acne, PCOS, endometriosis, the list goes on, and they wanna learn how to clean up their act. So it may not seem on the surface like hormones and periods and natural clean beauty are connect, but they're actually intricately linked. So I thought in addition to talking about healthy hormones, I could also do a series about natural clean beauty. And in this series, I'm gonna spend some time talking about my favorite techniques, tools, and tips that I use to keep my skin glowing and acne free. Now, I've mentioned this in some of my other videos, but if you're just tuning in and you haven't seen me before, you may not know that I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is also called PCOS. And if you know anything about PCOS, you'll know that one of the core symptoms is acne. And as you can see, I have PCOS, but I also have very clear, pretty healthy skin for the most part. Now, the very best thing that I've done for my hormones and my skin is switch up my diet to make sure that it's as clean and green as possible. And that means cutting out things like sugar, wheat, gluten, dairy, and yes, alcohol as well. If you wanna learn more about what I eat and what I recommend for healthy skin, you can check out some of my programs like Unlock Your Cycle or Unlock Your Beauty, which you'll probably love, Unlock Your Beauty. I'll put the links in the description box down below because I wanna get on with what I'm here to talk to you about today. And that is one of my favorite tools for healthy, glowing skin. It's something that I use every single night. I keep it right by my bed, and in the summer I keep it in the fridge or the freezer so it's nice and cool. Da-da-da, it's my Jade Roller. I bought this one online. It was in between 10 to $20. I can't remember the exact amount now because I had it for about four years. Now, a Jade Roller usually has a big end on one side and a small end on the other side. These are made of jade, and the jade has a healing and smoothing property on the skin. It feels amazing because the jade, even without keeping it in the freezer or the fridge, the jade kind of stays pretty cool. So when I use it and it's next to the bed, both of the stones are cool and they feel great on my skin. So the benefits of using a jade roller, one is that it provides a massage for your skin which is good for improving the lymphatic drainage, especially underneath of your chin and the hollows underneath of your cheeks as well. Second is that the massage it gives improves the circulation. And especially as ladies, as we get a bit older, our skin tends to look a little bit more sallow, like yellow, or maybe even have a grayish cast. So using a jade roller can make your skin look more youthful and rosy. The third benefit is that I find that it really relaxes me. I really love the process. It feels good and it's a nice self-care ritual that's not harmful for me, my hormones, or the environment. So how do you actually go about jade rolling? I'm gonna go through the steps one by one and demonstrate each one so you can see exactly how I do it. First off, you're gonna to wanna to have clean skin. I've already cleaned my skin so I don't have any makeup on, no foundation or anything. I've just washed my skin with some hot water on a washcloth taken off my makeup with a little bit of oil washing. If you're not sure what that is, you can watch the other video that I have all about how to oil wash, where I go through the techniques and why I love it. So I've oil washed my skin, water, steamed it with a washcloth, and now it's completely clear of anything, no makeup. Next, you wanna have a carrier oil. You can use something like coconut oil, it's one of my faves. You can use rosehip seed oil, which is also one of my favorites. I don't have a bottle on me right now, unfortunately. You can make your own oil like I did. Neil Jard has a rose night cream that I love, but it's very pricey. So I kind of deconstructed theirs and made my own. And I'll record another video in the future about the recipe to use to make that oil so you can make your own. Now what I'm gonna use today is just some 
bulk standard almond oil. I usually use this for massages on my body, but today I'm gonna use it on my face. So I start off with some oil on my hand about the size of a quarter. I need to rub it around a little bit in my hand so it's nice and warm. Looks like it's some good energy in there. And then just start to spread it around your face. I like to make sure that I'm covering my lips as well, plus underneath of my chin. And for me, I get behind my ears too because I tend to get some eczema back there. I also make sure I'm getting along my hairline because I do get a little bit of eczema and dry skin along the hairline too. So when your face is completely covered and you have some excess oil, I always like to rub it on my hands and then rub it on my arms down just to get the excess off and get dry elbows so I can put it on my elbows as well. So using the larger end of the roller, I like to start down at my chin first. So I'm just using a back and forth motion to go along the jaw. You can do short kind of bursts like this, or you can do longer strokes, it feels good. I like to get kind of underneath of my ear there's a lot of tension there and all around the curve of your jaw too. So we're not just ensuring that we have beautiful skin, we're also using this to de-stress the muscles of the face too. And a place that I like to spend a lot of attention on is the sides of the jaw. So you can use this as more of a deep tissue massager. Once I get to this point, I really press down. There's a point in this pocket of my jaw here that always has chronic muscle tension. So again, I like to really get in there. And you can feel it's sort of like, you know it's doing something really good, but. So I won't bore you with doing the other side. I'll just kind of do one side of my face. So I like to do underneath of my neck, earrings in the way. <laughs> Usually I don't have earrings on when I'm doing this. And then gently roll it down my neck. And then I'll do this side just because I've got the mic on this side. I actually take this all the way down. So it's facial massage, but I actually take this down to my shoulders. And you notice that oh, it really does, it really does work the back of my neck. All I'm doing is just rolling it down my neck. For years, I used to use this just on my face, not my neck, the back, and I even take it down onto my chest as well. Especially like right around here, I find that there's a pressure point and going over the pressure point actually feels really good and I feel that it's releasing my shoulders too. So I think of it more as a head, neck, and shoulders, almost like an Indian head massage. So I'll go down even to say like the top of the breast. And the reason why we start from the bottom and move our way to the top is so as we kind of open up the channels and as we go up the face, it's able to drain. Now you're with lymphatic drainage, the points are like under your armpits and the groin. So we kind of want to get the waist to float down the body so we can sweat it out. Next, I'll do the cheeks. You want to really focus on the hollow underneath of the cheeks. We can get pockets of toxins underneath of the cheekbones. If you take your thumbs, kind of run it underneath of your cheekbone, you can even feel that there's some pressure points. So I like to make sure that I'm pushing kind of up and then over the cheekbone, but making sure that you're getting underneath of the cheekbone too. Sometimes I find that the smaller one is good here to really get down underneath of the cheekbone. So back to the bigger one to go over the cheekbone and then moving to the side. 
It's actually better to go side by side. I like to do a little bit of up and down because I find that it really gets kind of deeply into that place. But once I'm at this point, I tend to go side to side in one kind of more sweeping motion across the face. And watch because it can get caught, mine gets caught in my hair. Then I'm gonna switch to the smaller end. Gonna go over the nose and the tip of the nose, around the mouth. I especially like to get these kind of frown lines or marionette lines. Even over the lips. For this, I kind of make that that face. And then getting on the side of my nose too. This part always feels really good. Then still using the small, I'm gonna close my eyes, run it over the eyes, up to the brow, and then open the eyes, run it underneath the eye, usually about 10 times. I like to make sure I'm kind of pressing it in on the corner too, so we can hold some tension right here in the bridge of the nose. And then still using the small one, I do some short strokes along the eyebrow. And then I'm back to the big one to do the forehead, just a few short strokes, and then bigger, longer strokes along the forehead. And making sure to get the temples as well. I usually take the big one, bring it down over my brows again, because I find some pressure points along the brow. And definitely, I'm gonna go back to the small one just to do this frown line here. And then a little bit of extra TLC around my eyes. And in this case, I'm doing more of a surprised face. So there you have it, just one side done, the other side needs to get done. Then I like to finish off just by doing a quick little rub down on my ears. Your meridians, which are lines of energy that run through the body, stop off at the tips of your ears. So if you give it a little massage up and down, just this part, the outer ridge of the ears, you can help to balance all of your meridians. And I find that it feels really good too. So that's the end of my jade rolling routine. It usually takes me about two to three minutes to perform. So I don't know if you can see the difference from one side or the other. I definitely feel that this side feels more alive. I don't know if the skin tone is a little bit more vibrant. My cheek feels nice and warm, so I imagine that there's a little bit more blood flow going to this side of my face. So that's it from me. Let me know in the comments if you're planning on using a jade roller. Give me a little heart emoji or say yes, or just say yes. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the big red button because this is Girl Meets Body and I am introducing you to your body at one episode at a time and I don't want you to miss anything. I can't wait to see you on the next episode. Bye.